Hey viewers and welcome back to Let's Play Nexus the Jupiter Incident. We've got a couple of logs here to roll through. Huh. This one's interesting. Likely cause of stress, Commander Sweetwater. I hereby apologize to Daryl Sanderson for calling her a nightmare. Daryl is a pleasant, flexible, courteous, and astonishingly amiable woman. Compared to Sweetwater, that is. Again, feel free to pause it and read through at your own leisure. I'm just going to scroll down here. Huh. Alright. Big log. So again, feel free to pause and read through. Now he has, has to fight his allies, doll. Okay, Gate Epsilon. Oh, okay, Quick Reaction Task Force, nice, again. Pause that and feel free to read through. He's falling for sweet water. Poor guy. Alright. Hmm, let's see. Heavy torpedoes. Oh, never my heavy laser. Okay. Wow. So we already have particle gatling guns. Volcano plasma gun. Huge rail gun. Precision though. I think I'll leave on the Gatling gun on there. Laser Globe Flak is still good. So really there's no reason not to have a jamming shield on there. Oh, its defense is smaller, never mind. Okay. Efficiency. Let's take you off. Take you off. That's a big chunk, but... Level 1 cork generator, huh? Hmm. Okay, I'll throw you on there too. There's no suitably empty slot. Of course there isn't. Okay, let's try that again. Advanced sensor array. Let's put some ECCMs on there. Confirm. These are still rookies. Okay, take off that energy shell. Definitely put on the bubble energy shell. Particle we've got. We've got. Upgrade your engine. Got a deflection engine. You have no fusion support generators. That might help a lot. And you able to put a plasma cell on you. Excellent. Okay. So a lot of good upgrades coming through, even if there's no real weapon boosts. Alright, what have you got? Torpedoes, bubble energy cell, shell. Hmm. So first, well, I'm not a big fan of torpedoes, actually. Pulsar missile. 100% accuracy, okay. I'd rather have another bubble. Magma plasma gun. Those with terrible accuracy, forget that. Particle Gatling guns all the way. Those are laser globe flak. 
combat fire cloud generator. Let's see. Yeah, I definitely want to put one of you on there. Battleships. Can't afford you, but yeah. You don't have enough generator power to fire all your weapons. Definitely need to upgrade that. Let's call it that for now. Okay, Angel Wing. Here we go. Let's go with Flash Fighters. A lot of these. Gunboats. Actually, let's take one of those guys out. Put out a gunboat. Gonna use those guys more often. Devices. Combat firestorm generator? Definitely. Sensors arrays are all still standard. Oh, your weapons are good. You know, with this much upgrade power available, I think I should really put some effort in upgrading the engine. Definitely. Okay, take off the fusion engine. Put one of you guys in there. Alright. Now, time to save and then find out how wrong I am about keeping this arrangement. I am still Norbank. Asteroid field information here. Rygra clan. One of the Gorg clans that did not sign the ceasefire agreement. They're known for their stubbornness and ferocity. Ferocity currently leader reportedly declared he will impale the Emperor on his own flagpole. There's a mechanoid here. This should be good. Let's let's check the briefing, shall we? Now that all that's been done. Vacation is over, Commodore. The ghosts have brought me some interesting news. Even Central Command haven't heard about this yet. Our scouts have encountered an inactive mechanoid within Ragra territory. It's floating among the asteroids as if dead. We have never seen anything like this before. I, I beg your pardon, I mean Miss Angel, seems very excited. She believes we should take a closer look at this anomaly. And I agree. We ought to find out what happened to it, and how it ended up out of action. I'm sure you're aware how valuable this discovery may turn out to be. I've anticipated a positive response, Commodore. We're already prepared for a departure. I guess I count as a fleet now. Okay, let's do this. Sir, the recon data was accurate. There is a mechanoid at the coordinates given. What did you expect? A line of go-go dancers? The scout's talent for retrieving sensitive information without being detected is unrivaled. We have nothing but the greatest respect for them. The only unexpected thing here is that I was the first to be told about such an important discovery. You weren't the first, Commander. I was. Of course. But I understand that Rear Admiral Norbank has yet to hear of this. That's my understanding, too. Well, whoever knows about it, I owe you my thanks, Commander. You don't owe me a thing, Commodore. If you happen to benefit from something I say, that's just a coincidence. If you're so desperate to show your gratitude, you can start by replacing the pastel pink sheets in my cabin. You're right. I'm sure they clash with your eyeshadow. 
Calling all ships. Do not open fire on the mechanoid under any circumstances. I repeat, under no circumstances should you fire at the mechanoid. If it decides to wake up, we're all dead. Copy that, sir. Copy that, Commodore. We are not opening fire. Its energy level is so low that a few shots probably won't recharge it to a critical level, but that's not a theory I want to test. The use of the data scanner should be well within acceptable parameters. If we leave it behind, I calculate it will take approximately 16 months to gather sufficient sunlight to reactivate itself. Using the scanner will reduce its recharge time to five and a half months. How did it get to this state? I have insufficient data to form a cogent hypothesis. If I get the opportunity to take a closer look, maybe I will be able to tell you more. Scientific analysis complete. What does the data tell us? The mechanoid body is basically nanomolecular. It consists of tiny machines. These machines can organize themselves into almost any shape imaginable. With its energy level so low, the main algorithms of the mechanoid software are inactive. In its current state, I believe I could even take control of it. Then you could even destroy it. Destroy it? Yes, I could do that. Of course, that would prevent my studying it further. It's a mechanoid, Angel, not a damn butterfly. It's too big to take with us, and besides, energy from the ship's system might reanimate it. I'm going over. Wait, what? Should we not discuss this, maybe? No? Okay. This is unbelievable. They've created the perfect hardware. Everything is so... Comfortable. Angel, return immediately. The mechanoid's energy level is increasing. Don't panic. The energy increase is only me. I've got everything under control. Give me a chance to dig deeper. I need more time. Time's not on our side. You should know better than to gamble like this. The only thing that we know about this technology is that it's extremely destructive. If you can destroy it, do so. Then come back immediately. Angel? Angel, do you hear me? Angel, answer me! Asagauni, tsurube torarete, mora nichu. I do not understand. Please repeat, is there a problem? Commodore, Angel is talking in Japanese. Japanese? Why? Did anyone understand what she just said? Well, technically, her native language is Japanese. My knowledge of the language is rudimentary, but it sounds to me like poetry. Poetry? Angel, return immediately. That's an order. Angel, are you still there? The air shimmers. White flight of an unknown insect. Commodore, I think we may be in trouble. I'm pleased to see all those years of academic study weren't wasted, Mr. Veltman. Oh, snap. Something must have tipped the balance of her mind. She's reciting poems, haikus. Her artistic subroutines have taken over. It may be a defense strategy to protect her mind against the aggressive mechanoid algorithms. Just what we need, a poetry recital. Can we do anything to help her? I'm afraid we can do nothing but wait. Angel, listen to me. You have to come back immediately. Are you all right? Sleet dappled snowscape. Warm imprint in bed sheets, split by a single pane. Bed sheets? Angel, what are you talking about? What happened to you? Are you there? Barns burnt down. Now I can see the moon. Sir, Gorg ships have arrived. You craven maggots. Did you really believe that real warriors would be fooled by your greased handshakes and supplicatory leers? Did you think we wouldn't see through the painted mask of hypocrisy? Fools! Shadlock recognizes no treaty! Save the eternal covenant of death in glorious battle! Sir, we estimate they're at least twice as strong as us. All units, raise your shields. Angel, your karaoke slot's over. Return to the ship. We cannot stay here and fight. Look thus upon this crumbling world. A star at dawn, a petal in the breeze. A bubble trembling on a dreamer's lid. A guttering flame, a shadow and a sneeze. Angel, wake up! The Gorgs will either blow us to pieces, or the fight will recharge the mechanoid. We're all going to die here with you. You've got to come back! Good. Autumn wind. Gods. Buddha. 
Lies, lies, lies. Sir, we'll have to commit ourselves soon. Awaiting your orders. Commodore, we have to go. Yeah, I'm kind of inclined to agree with her, but what the hell. Aye, aye, sir. We don't stand a chance. We can't oh. leave Angel behind. Coming and we fire can't fire. allow the Gorgs to get the mechanoid. Even if it means our lives? The professor is right. We need the mechanoid at all costs. Warning. Angel? Income. Everything's all right, Commodore. I experienced some problems with my personalities, but they've been rectified. My analysis is still incomplete, but I can use some of the mechanoid systems against the Gorgs. I'll be able to control their ships for a short period of time. Do not forget, Commodore, our possessing of this mechanoid is the key to re- What, seriously? Rescuing Earth. Your personalities. What kind of personalities are you talking about? There'll be time for that later, Doctor. Attention all ships, we're engaging in combat. Yeah, this is gonna end badly. I have activated the IP drive of the menace. Our quadrants are under attack. What do you mean activate the IP drive of the menace? Enemy squadron destroyed. You know, he's just gone out of the fight now? That's kind of hilarious. Okay, would you please disable the shields on this yes, guy? We have lost a f okay, so we took out all the enemy ships. Let's recall you guys. You know, get wrecked. Affirmative. Commodore, I have disabled the darkness's shield. Okay, well, forget that then. Wreck the hull in the darkness. Affirmative. That's a battleship. Aye, aye, sir. Commodore, we have a problem. The mechanoid is recharging fast because of all the dispersed energy. It is going to escape from under my control. What? How much time do we have left? Less than 10 minutes. I'll be able to escape in time, but don't move too far away. Are you gonna fire on this thing or not? Enemy squadron destroyed. That looks like a Gorg ship. Enemy squadron destroyed. Enemy squadron destroyed. Warning. I have overloaded the weapon generator of the Mauler. It is being evacuated. Good, thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, no, that's the angel in there. Let's just get you to run away from these guys, shall we? Affirmative. How's the slash doing? Miss, 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 miss. I have activated the IP drive of the slash. Complete. Warning. Penetrator weaponry is offline. Okay, so you are going after the... Brutus. 
right, so let's take some wait to you, shall we? Understood. Of course, that's when we were actually Warning. pushing it to us. Our squadrons are under attack. Emergency. Hull integrity is critical. Unable to complete task. This is about to go down. I have disabled the engines of the Raider. We have lost a fighter. It's really the magic. Sorry, apparently it doesn't matter if the Brutus head shields up or not, because you can still get wrecked. Target device disabled. We disable those instead, that would be awesome. Commodore, the grinder is yours. Wait, what? Wow. Okay, sure. Sure, that actually works, but affirmative. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, aye, sir. Understood. Send you guys in to get that guy. Aye, aye, sir. And I'll get all of you to attack. Affirmative. Later. With shields. Affirmative. Hurry it up. The Brutus doesn't have much longer, please. I have disabled the engines of the Mauler. You know, when I got control of the other one, I guess I should have jumped it out, huh? Target device disabled. Okay, let's wreck that thing, shall we? Yes, sir. I have overloaded the weapon generator of the bloodshed. Understood. Aye, aye, sir. Would kindly tear that guy apart. Target ship is being excellent. Yes, sir. Everyone else. The grinder. Take on the grinder, if you would. Understood. That's not much actually used to me. I'm nowhere near it, sorry, but appreciate the effort. Actually, where's the mauler? Understood. Where is the, 
Where's the mauler? Ah, it doesn't have any shields. True enough. But as before, no one seems to actually be shooting at it, even though I've given them explicit orders to do that. Yeah, maybe I should put you guys on aggressive. Maybe that would help. Yes, sir. Okay, this would also be a great time to actually launch you guys and do some damage to your shield generator, wouldn't it? Aye, aye, sir. Commodore, I have disabled the bloodshed shield. Our quadrants are under attack. Probably. This is a little intense. We have lost a fighter. I guess this is working a little bit better, actually. Let's get you guys to actually go after this thing instead. Yes, sir. Check your shields. Target ship is big. Excellent. Much better. I have no idea how much time I have left before this ends terribly. Aye, aye, sir. Commodore, the ambush is yours. Smartest thing, I, smartest thing I could have done before, actually. So we get to keep control long enough to actually jump out. We have lost a fighter. Commodore, the mechanoid has recharged. I have lost. Oh boy. That's all kinds of bad my control over it. Enemy shield has collapsed. Task complete. Wow, it is shredding the bloodshed, although I'm probably going to follow suit pretty quick. Target ship is being evacuated. Enemy shield has collapsed. Wow, that thing does sick damage. Why didn't it attack us? One icicle short, another is long. Why is it like that? Target device disabled. Wait, we won that one? This mission may be considered a success, although we did not achieve all our objectives. Could have turned out a lot worse. Angel will turn with a great deal of information from the mechanoid that will no doubt prove useful in the future. Scan the mechanoid, don't let them get the mechanoid, and destroy everything. Seems to work out okay. I just made a couple of them jump away, but really, that's a win, if you ask me, so... No complaints. Decent outfitting points as well. Definitely need to repair you. Definitely, definitely, but we'll get to that later, I think. For now, though, viewers, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Nexus, The Jupiter Incident. More mysteries.